Hey y'all, this is me, Kenya, aka Bonus LLC. <laughs> anyway, guys, I just want to come and show you this um, unit that I made. It is a. I'm trying to look in the mirror at the same time. It is a. Um, it is a 27 piece. Um, by I think it's Miss Janet. I think it's Miss Jen. I threw the um, packaging away. But the, the black part is a 27 piece. And then the. I, um, I was going to leave it just black because I had another black synthetic short wig. But the straps broke in the back and it was just. Didn't have the shape and everything like that. Like I wanted it. It was kind of puffed out. And I wanted something like flat to fit to my head. So what I did was I used. I got a 27 piece. I um, didn't want to bond it in because I've been natural for about a year and three months now. And I did not want to put any glue on my head because I know how I am with glue. I don't take care of it. I don't take it out properly. So I just wanted something that I can take off and put back on. So I put a shower cap on first. Well, I braided my hair down in two braids. I put a shower cap on. And then I put the stocking cap on top. And then I just bonded the tracks in and it came with a, um, I did another video um, from start to finish with just a black, but it's on another device and it's not here right now. So I just decided to make another video because I wanted to upload it and show you all this wig. But the black is the 27 piece by Miss Janet number one. And the color parts is this beauty supply near um, my house and they sell like all kind of little color pieces like I guess they come just like this it's like almost like the same texture like the 27 piece it comes like bump like this and it's maybe the little bundle is maybe like that big and you know they all come like all kind of different colors any kind of color you want they they sell them for like a dollar ninety nine and I had some leftover scrap pieces that I had from like maybe almost two years ago so I was just like, you know, I don't want another plain wig. I need something spicy and funky. So I just added some of these pieces in it. So, yeah. And with the 27 piece, you know it comes. I have some flyaways here. With the 27 piece, you know it already comes bumped because it's like short, short, short wefts. So the only thing I did was I bonded it in. It came with a closure. Put the closure here. Um, put the color in the front I shaped it up a little bit with my clippers didn't do anything major just shaped it up a little bit and then the color part I just bumped it with my flat iron and just kind of raked it back and just you know shaped it up with my fingers or whatever and that was it and that's my little my little funky look I like it I love it actually and it's not tight like like um some wigs maybe it fits directly you know it it fits to the shape of my hair so it's very comfortable even though it's it doesn't have like the spaces you know how the synthetic wigs are and they have like the spaces it's not itchy it's it's really really comfortable it's not extra hot i don't want it anywhere just i just had it i just finished bumping it or whatever and just had it on for a while but it's very comfortable I don't know if this would be an everyday wig maybe I may make um I may make another one for everyday um I don't know I'm thinking maybe I should make I don't know if I'll make another black one I don't know maybe maybe a number four or something like that um I don't know whenever I get a chance because it's very time consuming to make with the 27 pieces is very time consuming because the tracks are here's a little piece right here the tracks are very very thin very very thin and you have to layer them layer them um put the tracks or should i say very close together to give it the fullness that that you want but yeah that's my little my little wig or whatever just wanted to show you guys what I did, you know, a lot of people go to the salon and get this kind of hairstyle and pay $65, all that kind of stuff for it. First of all, I had this hair for, I don't know, ages. And I think when I got it, I paid like $12 for it, for just a pack. And it's something simple, 
it you know it looks like I may have gone to the salon and got it bonded in but it's very simple and not expensive at all and that's my goal to look nice and not spend a lot of money you don't have to spend a lot of money to look nice ladies you do not I'm here to tell you you don't have to spend a lot of money to look nice but anyway I'm rambling on and on and on um just a quick right fast my face I have on the um the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Makeup. I usually use the Dream Matte Mousse by Maybelline. That's my, uh oh, that's my everyday makeup. This is in Dark Cocoa. That's my everyday makeup, like going to work or whatever. But, like, if I'm going out of somewhere, I use my Studio Fix Fluid. Um, for my eyes, I am using my Wet n Wild Urban Jungle Palette. And it's a little dusty. I've had it for a long time. The Urban Jungle Palette. And I'm using this side right here. This side right here. I use the, the goldish one for the eyelid. The crease is the green one. And the definer is the brown one. And it's, it's a shimmery palette. So that's what I have on my eyes. Um, I use the Dream Matte Mousse in Carmel. Number two to highlight and uh, down the bridge of my nose just my ruby kisses 3d face creator and on my lips i just i'm sorry for my gum y'all on my lips i used a brown this dark brown um eyebrow pencil that i get from um the dollar tree and i love 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 them two come in a pack for a dollar and i love 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 them every time i go i rack up because they are so rich and so, so nice. And that's what I use to fill in my brows. And I line my lips. And, of course, my lipstick is my favorite. Ruby Roo by Max. By Max. By Mac Ruby Roo. And this is my favorite, favorite lipstick of all time. My favorite red lipstick. I used to be in love with Certainly Red by Revlon. But Ruby Roo has taken over. Anyway, y'all, I've talked long enough. Um, just wanted to show you my unit. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you want to ask about the wig, just go ahead and leave me a comment below. And that's it. Stay tuned for more videos. Later. Oh, and I'll put some um, still pictures up. Later.